Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would share with you all of the different items that I have in my collection that I use to decorate my handbags with, um, also known as handbag charms. And I have a little bit of items from Coach, Michael Kors, Henry Bendel, um, Louis Vuitton, uh, Tory Burch, and then some off-brand pieces. So I thought I would just share this with you today. I enjoy watching these types of videos to kind of get ideas on what other people are using to decorate their handbags. And I like watching it, so I thought I would do one um, because once I started pulling everything out to do this video, I realized I have a lot of things that I use to decorate my bags, whereas probably probably five years ago I probably only had just a few pieces but I have used several pieces in my collection um, for a long time and so um, decorating my handbags is not new to me something I've been doing for quite some time and I'll start with those items that I've had the longest and then I'll go from there and then I also did bring in some of my purses to kind of show you how I style the different um, pieces on my um, different handbags. And I think what I'm going to do is start with what I have on my handbag currently. So let me reach down here. So the handbag that I'm currently carrying is my Louis Vuitton uh, Petite Noé in the Epi Leather. Um, I haven't done a video on this. This is new. It's a pre-loved item. Anyway, on the one side here, I have from Coach a purse scarf. And the purse scarfs from the Coach um, factory outlet is pretty much how I got started with putting something on my handbag to decorate. Um, anytime I would go into the Coach store and purchase a Coach handbag, I always wanted to get the little um, scarf to match the handbag. I have since sold all of my coach handbags, but I did keep my um, coach scarves. So I have this one here, which is a gray and black with a little bit of a cream color in it. And it has the CC logo on one side, and then it has a striping on the other side, which kind of makes me think of a men's, a man's um, necktie. So I do have that on the one side here. And then on the other side, I have a new piece that I just acquired. And it is another coach um, piece. And it's the different butterflies. And it's going to be hard to tell on camera because it is a dark color. But it is a dark black. And then it also has a little bit of a, a burgundy or a maroon contrast to it. In the of several different places here on the butterfly. And then the hook here is like a, a brushed or antique um, bronze color. But I just got this a couple days ago on clearance from um, Neiman Marcus. But I'm gonna take that off so that we can look at it a little bit up close. Put that down. I just, I love butterflies to begin with, and I just thought this was very nice. It's got the one, two, three, four butterflies on there. Um, I was thinking about maybe taking this little ring right here off because it kind of gets in the way, but I may leave that on there. But anyway, I just thought that was so cute, and it was a good price. It wasn't too expensive being marked down and everything so I did get that so that is um, what I currently have on my handbag now and then I do have a couple other of the um, purse scarves I forgot what they were called from coach that I have acquired over the couple of past years um, nowadays when you go into the coach store they no longer 
or at least at the outlet, they no longer carry the little coach scarves. They have different types of um, bag charms. And anyway, this is the leopard print. And then on the back side, it still has the leopard print, but with the CC um, logo kind of um, imprinted over the top of it. And it has the coach logo here on the end there. So I have that one. I have sold a couple of them with some handbags and I wish now I would have kept them because at the time I didn't realize that coach was going to do away with these um, bag scarves. Anyway, and then I have this one here, which again just has the CC logo all over the front of it in the beige and the brown and then the back side is again the striped which is in an orange and a brown which looks really i had an orange um coach handbag that this looked really pretty on but i thought this would look this um, scarf here goes really well with the monogram print from louis vuitton this is my um delightful PM and this looks this scarf here looks really pretty with the brown monogram is how I would wear that or I could even put the leopard print on there also so the other pieces that I have from coach are the newest bag charms when you go into the outlet store, or at least it was this past year in 2017, and I acquired two different ones, depending upon the collection. And this one has a, like a little shopper girl on there with the CC logo. And then on the back, it's just solid brown. It almost looks like it would resemble a luggage tag, but it's not an actual luggage tag. And this piece is like really, really, really thick. And it's pretty sturdy too. And then this one is in the pink color. And this one, when you first look at it, it looks like it has bows, but it's actually um, butterflies. So anyway, I have that. And both of these look very good on, again, the monogram. And how I would style this would be on the side here. So I get this one here. It would be styled like that. how that would look or hang. This also looks really good on the, um, the Demier Aben. I have my Neverfull in the Demier Aben. How I would style this one on this bag would be to hook it on So that would just hang like that. So that is the other pieces that I have from um, Coach. Okay, the next two um, pieces I'm gonna show you are from Tory Birch. And I acquired these back during the summer when we went on our trip to Vegas. And I purchased these at the Tory Birch um, outlet store. So I have this um, heart here with the gold hardware. It's in the um, olive green and I got this specifically to put on, pick this back up, my Demier Aben handbag. Oh no! makes it look like this here and then it just hangs really pretty I love wearing olive green or army green whatever you want to call it during the winter time and I think with this dark brown it just looks so pretty but I have that and it has a little Tory Burch emblem right here and 
And the other item that I have from Tory Burch was this horse. And it's like a burgundy with um, royal blue mane. And then it has a little bit of orange around its eye and around its, um, I guess that's its bridle. And then also on its hoof here. And again, I got this to pretty much go with my Damier Abin print. So I can get this on. I have to do everything backwards. And I'm not, I'm right handed. It's hard for me to do anything with my left hand, but that's how that looks. Hanging off of there. Very pretty. I did have it hanging on, and you would have, if you follow me on Instagram a while back, I had it on my um, my Speedy in the Damier bin, but I have sold sold that handbag, so I no longer have that one. So this is the only piece I have in the Damier bin now. And if you're wondering why I sold that, it's because um, I did purchase it pre-loved. It was my very first Louis Vuitton. And um, the canvas started cracking on it, so I sold it before it got any worse because you cannot repair it once the canvas starts cracking. The canvas cannot be repaired on those, so I opted to um, sell it. Then I have this little um, pink bow that I got from, where was this, H&M while I was in Vegas. And I like to wear this with the um, monogram print. Very pretty, the pink and the brown. So it's very pretty, so I have that. This was a very inexpensive um, bag charm, but I probably get a lot of compliments on this little guy when it's on one of my bags. Okay, the next piece I have is a luggage tag that I ordered from Henry Bindle not too long ago. And I've added a little hook to the strap here. And I'm going to put this onto my, um, this bag here, this one that I'm holding, the Petit Noe and the um, Epi Leather in the black. Because this has a lot of the burgundies and the reds and the black and the gray. Just thought that would look really cute on that one. Now let me see if I can hold it up here. It's a little stiff because I haven't actually worn it yet. So this little strap is really kind of stiff. So it's not quite laying the way that I want it to. And it is low, um, laying a little bit longer than I want. So I may hole punch a couple holes just to make it a little bit shorter. Because I would rather it be kind of up, up here. I think that would look better. But anyway, I have that from Henry Bindle. And then I had another piece from Henry Bindle that I ordered that you would have just seen. And this little guy is so cute. It's this um, horned owl um, coin purse. But I ordered it specifically for a bag charm. But I didn't realize how big this little guy is. I mean, it's big. So let's see what it's going to look like on this here if I can get it hooked which isn't too bad it's not it doesn't hang down lower than the bag so that's good but I think it may look better on the the Neverfull because of it being a bigger bag. So I get this to hook on there. So that's what it would look like on the Never Full. So again, I don't know. I don't know if maybe I could put it around the strap like that. That might look better that way. So it doesn't look too bad with it being on this because of it being a bigger bag. <laughs> so cute. I just thought that was so cute. I just wished it was about half the size. That would be better. And I don't really like putting things on my strap, but anyway. Okay, so that was what I had from Henry Bindle. So the next 
items I'm going to show you are all of my um, my pom-poms that I have. Um, the majority of them are from Michael Kors, but not all of them. So first of all, I have this little one here that I purchased, I think, off of maybe Etsy. Um, just a little faux fur palm, and then it has just a little um, pearl beading detailed there. And of course, this looks really good on the monogram, like so. Put it this way. Of course, they just kind of flop around. So I have that one. And then another one that I have that is just a off brand, and I haven't even used this. It still has the tags on it. It's just a black one. And I'm not even for sure where I even got this at. Maybe TJ Maxx or Marshalls, Target maybe. But it just kind of hangs off there. And then the other ones I have are from um, Michael Kors. And I have several colors. I have a little pink colored one here. And this one has the gold hardware on it. Let's see if I can get these hooked on here really. It's just kind of just kind of hangs like that. I like these ones from Michael Kors because they are so soft. I have a black one. I'm not going to put them all on the bag. Then I have this blue one. Now this blue one, when I ordered it, because I ordered it off of Macy's, um, I didn't realize that it had silver hardware on it. But I think I'm still going to put it on a Louis Vuitton bag, even though they have the gold hardware, I think it will still be okay. I wish it would have had the gold hardware on it though. But that blue, that navy blue is so pretty. Look how pretty that navy blue is. It's like at the ends of it are tipped with a, like a lighter color. Now these are, for the most part, these are faux fur, but they do have a little bit of fox in them. So, and then the brown you know that was going to be perfect with the monogram or even the demi bin, either or and then one more this is going to be a long video isn't it and then I have this burgundy colored one this was my first one that I bought I bought this last year 2000 I actually bought this in 2016 that's when I bought this and that was even before, did I have my Louis Vuitton? Yeah, I had a Louis Vuitton then. But I just love this burgundy color with the brown. Looks really good on the Demier Abin also. Let's, let me show you on that. And that's what that looks like. Isn't that just so cute? Just kind of hanging off there that color really pretty especially for fall normally during the summer I don't have these little pom-poms on because to me that's a winter item but anyway and then this little guy I purchased off of Epsy Etsy and it is its little ears here are made from um, a Louis Vuitton handbag and it's in the monogram print and then the little ball itself is in the gray. When I ordered it, I actually ordered it in the Demir Abin ears and they sent me the one with the monogram ears. And so when I contacted the shop, um, she was very nice and she said, you know, she would, um, I could return it and she would, you know, send out the right one or she could just give me a little bit off of this one 
So I just opted to keep this one and just get a little bit of a discount. And that's what that looks like, isn't that cute? My husband, every time I have this one on, he thinks it looks like a, um, a Furby. If anybody's familiar with a Furby. <laughs> yeah, so have that. And then I think we are getting ready to go over the pieces that I have from Louis Vuitton. So let's start with the, um, what are these things called? These are actually called bandeaux. And I purchased these last, back during the summer. And I don't remember what each one is called, but I'll try to put a shot across here on the screen to let you know what bandeau it is that I have. So, and I would style this the same as I would um, a bag scarf, possibly tie it or even just loop it. That's going to be a little bit too long, but yeah, that doesn't look right, does it? I thought maybe I could just loop it like that, but no. That's not going to work. It doesn't look very good. And to be honest with you, I haven't even worn these yet. Someone to keep them nice. I don't know. That's crazy to spend that money and then not use it, huh? Like I said, I haven't even messed with this. Oh yeah, that looks better. That looks cute. Why haven't I used that yet? Let's see. So I have that one. The other bandeau I have is this one here. With the pink and the gray. This one is going to look really good on my this epi, this black epi. Oh, that's gonna be pretty on there. Let's take this one off. Let's put this one on. I love pink and black and gray together. I just think it's so pretty. Which pink is one of my absolute favorite colors. Wish I had a pink car. I used to drive a Volkswagen Beetle before I had grandchildren and I needed a, a bigger car to tote them around with. But when I had my little Volkswagen Beetle, it's white, I always wished I had a pink one. I just think having a pink Volkswagen Beetle would be the cutest thing ever. But yeah, see how that looks on there? I would make the bow a little bit bigger so these don't hang down as much, but yeah, that looks good on there. So I have those two bandos. Then, what else do I have? Okay, I have a luggage tag in the Demier at the bin that I bought while I was in Vegas. And I do have it hot stamped. So of course this is going to go on my, my never full here on the hook. So I haven't worn it yet. I've been kind of savoring it. But yeah, that's going to be really pretty on there. And I'll get a hook and put that on there and that way it can be hooked. And I probably will turn the strap around to where this buckle is facing the back instead of here. So I don't have all this hanging in front of my hot stamping. And then I also have a um, pre-loved in the small luggage tag, this is in the um, Faketa. This one is it's pretty rough. It's pretty well loved. I need a new I need a new strap right here. If I could just get a new strap, this part's still in pretty good shape. It's just the strap is really kind of dry looking. But it looked really good hanging off here and just onto the side here, like so. That's how it's styled that. And then I have what I just acquired um, for Christmas. 
the Demir Abin um, clay. And I purchased this mainly to use as a bag charm, a functional bag charm. And it's going to hang on my, but it is going to hang off the bag like so. It can be a bag charm or I may hang it off of the strap. And it's not really for sure yet, but so I have that. And that is my collection of bag charms. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed and got inspired and maybe got some ideas on some different ways that you can decorate your handbags. And again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.